Hi everyone, this is Alex Newton from Klytix. Wanted to give you a very quick tutorial on Amazon Link Anatomy. And the topic is, don't leave a trail endangering your reviews. What do I mean with that? Many authors who want to share their book link, um, they just do it this way. They go onto Amazon and they type in a search looking for their own book. Now that search is tracked and creates certain URL parameters in the resulting link when you click on the search result. And that is why you should not use that link. Let me show you. So I'm here in the Kindle store and I'm using the example of uh, our Kalytics Premium uh, group member, Krista. And she has a book and she might type Krista Yellick and her new book is Illusion. And she'd click on the Kindle store and she get a search result. And she may click here on the search result itself, going to the book page, and then using this long URL here in the top of the Amazon search bar. And then you may go over to, say, a social media account such as Facebook. And there, for example, you then paste that link because you want to share it with your friends. You know, it, Facebook is going to scrape the link and is going to pull the product image. You then probably delete this link and type something and you click post. Now the link is still going to be attached to that embedded image, right? And that can be a fatal mistake. Let me show you why. So this URL actually tracks a lot of things. In fact, here is the long URL. And what it does is the book link is not clean. It is a so-called super URL and it is telling a lot. And unfortunately it is telling Amazon a lot. So for example, first of all, not so important, but interesting to note is that First of all here, the link is a result of a search using the search words um, Galaxy Books Illusion, or in the early example I typed uh, Krista Yellick Illusion. But here in the presentation I used this example, and you see here, keywords Galaxy Books Illusion. Second thing is, uh, the link shows that it was the result of a search for the book. And in fact, it was here the display result number one that was clicked. And then most importantly, there is this so-called QID. I think it stands for query ID. And um, that value is the, you, that UID parameter is actually a Unix timestamp. Um, in other words, it's the number of seconds that have elapsed since January 1, 1970. You can actually try it out yourself. So, you know, back on the screen, I type in the search, click return. I get the search result. I click on the search result. And then it's here, very small print, but you see here, this, this QID ends with the numbers two, zero, 20 seconds. Now, if I go on the search again, and I click again, type in the same search, click return, get the search result and I click on it again. Then you see it's now here 42 seconds because 22 seconds have passed. So Amazon is tracking that search to the second. And that is a problem because promoting your book using such a super URL from a search result drastically increases the chance of Amazon removing book reviews by people who bought or downloaded the book through that link. Why is that the case? Because with all that data in the link down to the second when you originally searched it, probably combined with you being logged in when you perform the search, Amazon can actually infer that people who got the link, they, they got it by the author, your, him, him or herself. And that obviously screams manipulation, especially if there's a lot of purchases. So, 
you know, here's some technical background, just one second. Using the super URL is probably one of the easiest technical ways for Amazon to identify sellers who are trying to manipulate the system. Because that QID parameter in the URL is that timestamp that shows that it was a search for a given search word performed by someone. And certainly Amazon maintains database of each timestamp and search performed on the site. And all they need to do is find sales that occurred for searches that never took place. And also the search was done from your account and Amazon is most certainly able to connect the search and UID with your account. So you have to avoid this. Instead, always strip your book link down deleting all URL tags or markings. So in this case, this was a long URL here and you know, you have to take out all that red font striked out stuff from the URL. And then you can even further uh, take it further down to just the um, Amazon identification number or the uh, 10 digit version of the ISBN number. So the link would look like that and that works very nicely. Or you can become even more elegant, you know, just type AMZN, short for Amazon.com, and without the slash DP, just directly the ASIN number. And one further alternative you can do is you can use uh, the link short in the service Bitly, and it will convert your links into something like this. It will actually recognize that it's an Amazon link, and it will create an Amazon2 link, and then have such a short code here. And the advantage of Bitly is that you can customize the link even further. You can then say it's Bitly Christos bestseller, as an example. The disadvantage of Bitly is that it has a deteriorating reputation due to its abuse by many spammers. And the consequence is that the delivery rate of emails using Bitly links can be lower than without Bitly. And what I noticed on Facebook is that Bitly links sometimes fail, especially when posted too frequently to too many groups, to too many friends, in too many posts. I found that some of them uh, then started reacting strange. The image would no longer be pulled and um, the, the link was dead. At least that happened to me a couple of times. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial. This is Alex Newton from Kalytics, ebook market intelligence for success.